everyone. I'm Akash from Revise, and today we're going to be doing a fun tutorial creating dynamic pet NFTs. To begin, we've created a blog article that gives you a high level overview as to what we're trying to do today. We're trying to create a pet whose mood changes, and we want to update this uh, in the back end to metadata as well as the images regarding the pet. We're trying to update those things. To achieve this, we're going to be using Revise, and we're going to be using Revise's SDK. Um, we'll also be able to see the revisions using Revise um, on, the, on, on the Revise dashboard, um, and I'll walk you through all of that. To show you effectively what we're getting to, we're trying to make our NFT change dynamically from image to metadata to other things, and all the revisions will be shown um, within, the, within your own Revise dashboard. If you do go ahead and read this blog article at the very end, there is um, a guide you can follow, which will take you to a Notion page. And uh, this is the end-to-end -end guide with code snippets and everything for you to successfully implement your own dynamic pet NFT. To begin, we're going to be um, going to this GitHub repository, which I already have open here. Um, we are going to clone this repository into somewhere on wherever you want to on your um, computer. I'm just going to get clone and paste that. Perfect. I am then going to go into this directory. So that is CD NFT tutorial one. There we go. And I'm going to open this in my favorite code editor. So for this, you're going to be needing Node installed. Um, you're going to be needing some um, equivalent of Visual Studio Code or some code editor. Um, and otherwise, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, awesome. So going back to our Notion, um, I'm going to keep the Notion beside um, just so that you can also refer to it as I go through this video. Um, but this should be fairly straightforward. Um, what we've cloned is we've cloned the boiler, we've cloned the boilerplate for revise and setting it up, setting up revise within your code editor. It's quite straightforward. Now, first thing we're going to do is we are just going to open a terminal window over here, and I'm just going to go, um, just going to go npm install to um, install all the node packages. So the four packages, perfect. The next thing I will do is I am going to create a new file called index.js. This is going to be our main file that we're going to be using to mint our collection, uh, to create our collection and also mint our NFT to it. So I'd ask you to go ahead and copy this. I'll walk through this code very quickly. Um, we're effectively looking for the Verizon SDK, which we've installed. We're going to be generating an auth token. Um, and pasting that auth token over here. And within the run function is where we're going to be pasting the code about um, creating a collection or minting the NFT. So let's go ahead and create an auth token. To create an auth token, go to generate API key section of um, Notion. And we, if you just click on this link over here, it will open up this. Click on get started. Um, if you haven't created an account with Revise, um, you will have to register. It's a really straightforward process. Uh, if you already have an account like myself, it will just take you to your Revise dashboard directly, or you might have to log in. Um, this is a Revise dashboard. It shows any NFTs you've minted that you can go view. You can also generate API keys, or you can explore a document. So in our case, we're going to be generating an API key. Um, Revise doesn't store any of your API keys, so it's uh, once you've generated it at one time, please store it somewhere. Um, and if you forget it, you can come and generate another one. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it up inside over here. Perfect. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this. Um, leave this web page open because you will uh, need it. Just going back over here. We're going to copy the code to create our own collection. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. Um, and name and URI have to be unique. So in my case, I'm just going to call it 
uh, testing Akash's pet. And for the URI, uh, it can be alphanumeric, um, no spaces and no special symbols are allowed or special characters allowed. So I'll just say um, Tommy. Oh, yeah, Tommy is Akash's pet is the URI. Okay, perfect. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paste in the actual NFT data so that we can mint the NFT all before we run this file. So we're just giving the image. So if we click on that image quickly, we can see that currently uh, we're setting the image to be neutral. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we're saying um, my pet's name is Tommy, token ID of one, a description, and we're giving some attributes like attack, mood, and stamina. And we're passing the collection ID. So if I save this, um, I put my authentication token, perfect. And I'm just gonna go node index.js to run it. Perfect. You know it's been successfully minted um, when it produces a, an ID. Um, do not clear your terminal because this ID is gonna be important for the next part. Um, we will quickly go back to our revised dashboard. We'll do a quick refresh. I currently have four NFTs, it should become five. We have five NFT to now. We can see my pet Tommy and testing Akasha's pet as the collection has come through. If I just go and click view, I can see my pet Tommy is neutral at the moment um, and all the data around it, um, including the revisions. Um, the layout might be a bit different. There we go, revisions. So this revisions will get updated uh, or should get updated if all goes to plan at the moment. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to Visual Studio Code and I'll bring back the Notion. Um, and we are now going to dynamically change the mood of our pet. So we'll create another uh, JavaScript file called mood.js. And what we're going to do for mood.js is where we're going to add the dynamic capabilities to our NFT. So I'll go ahead and copy all this. The first three lines are, very, are the same as index.js. We need to paste our authentication token. Um, it is then followed on by options of the different types of mood with different images. And we're setting a random number generator, random, um, to randomness, we're setting what the mood should be. Um, we're also saying that the mood should get updated every two minutes um, by listening to the API. Um, and we are saying that the update needs to happen to the NFT with this ID, uh, this needs to get replaced. So we will replace this with the NFT ID that's popped around down here. Perfect. And for the, um, and it sets the property um, for mood based on what the mood is gonna be, sets the image as a new image for the mood and it saves it. Now, the do not forget to paste the authentication token that you had um, from index.js. So I'll just quickly go there and I will copy that and I will come back Oops, over here and delete all this and paste that. Perfect, just have a quick look. Yeah, looks great. I'm just gonna save that and it's pre-formatted. Everything looks all good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to dynamically see the changes happening uh, with our pet. So if we just go back over here, you can see there's only one revision and there's not, and the mood is happy um, and it, the image is neutral. So if I just um, go over here and if I go node mood.js, there we go. My pet Tommy is now neutral. So if I go back to this one, if I do a quick refresh, we will see that there's been an revision so it went from it went actually it went from neutral to neutral so it's not ideal um but every two minutes this will effectively get um, updated so originally it was happy is what we had passed and now it's become neutral um although the image um was happy and we had a bit of a mix up there 
Um, but every two minutes this will change. So it'll become neutral, it'll become happy, it'll become sad. Um, and I'll show you one of the other pets that I did this on. It had six revisions done. And as you can see, um, it shows each one of them. Neutral, happy, happy, neutral. Our pet's really happy generally. So yeah, that's um, that's everything for today. Um, well done for minting your first dynamic NFT if it was your first one. And well done for um, minting your first dynamic pet NFT. Do tell us what you've named your pet on our Discord or our Twitter. Send us a photo if you have any in real life pets and come hang out with us. Thanks. <laughs>